I couldn't open the door. He was screaming and I couldn't... Did you see the other man? I couldn't let him in. You all heard him, didn't you? Listen you know to me. What? I, Listen I, to me, please. The other man, did you see him? I think they came from upstairs, both of them. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. You cover the back. <laughs> Too late. He'd, he'd had in the way. How many times you fire? Just once. And the man? But two times. Once after a hollow police and then after a shot. My partner was coming up the fire escape. He heard. You don't have to make a statement to the captain here if you don't want to. I got nothing to hide. It might be in your best interest to remain silent. I'll tell him just what happened, just like I told Lieutenant Kojak. Go on, Captain. What do you want to know? From the beginning. I want to hear your story from the time you heard the radio call. Sure, I'll tell you everything. Grand jury indicts me. Well, come on, did you do it? Did you shoot that kid purposely? Sure, ask me. Go on. Everybody else has. The DA, the borough commanders, the captain from the commissioner's office. Here, look at this. Fan mail. Pig, murderer, assassin. And those are the polite ones. Why did we take that call? Why didn't we just sit there? Wait up tonight. That's the way you are, Rick. Why do you think you did so well at the academy? You're a police freak, man. Born to it. You're giving them money's worth. What was that kid doing up there so late? I, mean, I did your police. But he moved. It was a shadow. What do you mean you saw a shadow? You told everyone you saw a man. It was a man. I told you. He fired at me one shot. And I cut loose, and he ran away shooting again. Listen, you better get it straight. That grand jury only listens one way. You tell him you saw a shadow, then you tell him you're changing your story. No, no, it's, it's just like I said. Look, I just got all confused, okay? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But you were there. You know what happened. I'm dependent on you, Sam. Sure, Rick. Just take it easy. Well, you're off the hook, officer. The grand jury decided it was justifiable homicide. The police investigation failed to find evidence that you deliberately shot that boy. You were acting in defense of your life. They believe me. And Lieutenant Kojak. Of course, I must tell you that you could still be indicted if evidence to the contrary does show up. But under the circumstances, I don't think you have anything to worry about. They had no choice. The evidence was all his way. Yeah, but were they right? Lieutenant, I just want to thank you. I know you were very hard to clear me. Well, that's nice of you to say so. Thanks. Where are you going now? Uh, to the nearest bar. They make a suggestion? Yeah. Go see Mrs. Stroning. In case you forgot, she's still in mourning. Cracker! Lieutenant, you got a minute? I told Daly it'd be okay. It'll just take a second. All right, go ahead, take. Well, sir, it's about my new assignment. They had me down at Borough Headquarters on a desk job, limited duty. Captain Nolan's orders. And until he makes his final recommendation, you and your gun are on the show. Well, that's not fair. The grand jury cleared me. Why can't I go back to your squad? I know it's rough, but you gotta live with it. Well, what else does Captain Nolan want? Captain Nolan is a detective. Yeah, he likes to tie the knots, close the loopholes. He wants witnesses. Which we may be able to get him, incidentally. Buczynski called, he found the gun dealer. From him, we'll find out who he sold it to, and then we'll find out who used it on you, okay? Let's go. Hey, 
Come on, man. Be cool. You're in the clear now. We're good. Relax. I am a cop! It's all I ever wanted, ever thought about. Nothing else! I never took any money, and it was offered me plenty. I stayed clean. I kept working for a gold shield. Being with you, I couldn't believe my luck, and I'm telling you, it was an accident. All of it? That night, I thought I was gonna die. Now, you understand that, don't you? You know what it's like. I fired. I fired. So what? I didn't, I didn't see who it was until it was too late. Look, it was a mistake, okay? A terrible mistake. There was no one else ever. Just, just that kid. Just the kid was up here. I'll tell you. When I saw who it was, I knew it was all gone. Everything. Everything! I knew it was all gone. My life, everything I wanted, everything I worked for, it was all gone! So you took the small gun, fired at the wall, and threw the gun down the air shaft. What harm did it do, huh? Nothing was gonna bring that kid back. But maybe you could save me, huh? Maybe give me a chance to make up for it someday. Okay, shooting that kid, judgment, bad as it was. But covering up, there's where you blew it. I'm lieutenant. Shut up! Now what you did disgraced every police officer in the city. You're no good. That's the end of the story. Why is that any of these? Yeah, I'll be downtown.